to the pantry kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe. It's my go-to hummus. And for those of you that do have a sesame allergy, my cousin does. So this one is actually uh, usually used tahini, which is basically like a sesame butter. Uh, th this doesn't have any sesame in it and it tastes so good. It's so creamy and you won't even miss the sesame note in it. So let's get started. I've got some lemons, some fresh garlic, two cans of chickpeas. We're going to use the aquafaba or the chickpea water um, from one of the cans, then we're gonna drain and rinse one of them because we don't need both of the, we don't need all of the liquid from both cans. A little salt and pepper and get yourself some good quality olive oil and we'll get started. We're starting with the drain can in the blender. I A lot of people do have Vitamix. This is a Ninja Chef. Uh, I find that this is a really affordable blender and it's very, very high tech, very high speed. So if you're looking for something cost effective besides a Vitamix, which it's not, I would love one, but for the cost, it just isn't worth it to me. So we wanna put both cans of chickpeas in. There we go. And basically this is all to taste. So because of, I'm using two cans, I'm gonna use one full lemon, all the juice. I'm just gonna go right in there. Sure, we're gonna take this off. <laughs> All right, so, and then I've got two cloves of garlic, because I like it really garlicky. So if you don't, then you can just use one, and it's really just to taste. I'm gonna taste it as I blend it, and I'm gonna add more salt and pepper if I need to. And all of these things, hummus is a really good and affordable recipe to actually make at home. So you can make a big batch like this. It's going to fill about three medium sized um, mason jars. And it keeps in the fridge for about a week. So the blender is going to do all the work. So I'm just going to put the whole cloves of garlic, a couple turns of pepper. And like I said, this one is allergy friendly because there's no sesame seeds or tahini. You can add it in if you like but I find it's just as good without it. And it's super creamy because of the blender. So we're basically gonna blend all this up, gonna give it a head start, and then I'm gonna start to stream in my olive oil. strong enough garlic you can add garlic powder or more fresh garlic cloves so that's pretty good the garlic is there we're gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper but it's pretty good <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right and well, SP. one thing you have to always have in your cupboards a little s p okay it's the best seasoning that you can ever Buy and invest in good quality sea salt. Get yourself a salt grinder and a pepper grinder because I'm telling you, it makes a world of a difference when you buy peppercorns and um, of course, sea salt, way better. All right, so we're gonna blend this up again. Get yourself some mason jars. Your hummus 
This is probably going to do about two medium sized jars, a little bit extra. Uh, well, the reason why we're filming this today is because my brother absolutely loves this hummus and he doesn't have any. So he's going to take one home with him and uh, we're going to keep one too. So this is perfect for dipping veggies in, for lunch wraps. You can use it in place of mayo um, if you're trying to be dairy free. And this will, it's, it's going to look a little bit loose and, and it's really creamy, but it's going to look, you're like, well, that's not the hummus that I buy from the store. No, but it's fresh. So once it cools down in the fridge and chills up, it's going to firm up a little bit and thicken up. So don't be afraid that it's a little bit loose now, but oh my gosh, the nothing beats a warm pita with warm hummus. <laughs> We just made focaccia bread last night for dinner. Some of that on here, dipped in here, would be delicious. Spatula is your friend to get all that goodness out from the bottom of your blender. All right. This is one of those super quick, you don't know what to do with all the chickpeas that you just purchased because you just thought you, you know, got stuck up. So here is a recipe for all of you who have no idea what to do with chickpeas. <laughs> but I do make a really awesome chickpea curry too. Chickpeas are great, full of fiber, they're delicious, they're versatile, and they make this awesome dip. That's super easy and affordable to make at home. So just pop the lids on. And mason jars are probably like my favorite container to use as in like Tupperware, they're cheap. And they come with the lid, they're glass, and they're easy to store in your fridge, freezer, and easy to clean. So there you go. All right, now we taste. I just got a little crudité here, some cucumbers and carrots. I love carrots and hummus, they're probably my favorite, or triscuits, but we ran out. Uh, this is perfect as a dip, a spread on sandwiches, anything that you want to do with it. Mmm, delicious. I promise you, once you make the homemade kind, for a snack, for a spread, for anything like that, I promise you, this is gonna be your go-to hummus. So the link is in the description bar. Be sure to like and comment on this video and make sure to subscribe so you never miss a new video with me. Bye guys.